Welcome on this Tuesday. We're thankful that you could join us again, and I do trust I can be a little bit of an encouragement to you. The Lord is so good. I do want to remind you, ladies, that at 11 o'clock on Tuesday, we have the face-to-face -face podcast available, and I certainly would encourage you to tune in to that. It's a joy to be able to continue on in our study there of Elizabeth Elliot's book. But I'd like to take our attention here to Joshua 21. We read this a couple of days ago in our Bible reading. And as the tribes were given their inheritance after the tremendous victory that God had given the nation of Israel in overcoming what seemed to be so invincible, the Canaanites, now they were going to reap the benefit of that great victory. And we read in verse 43 of chapter 21, and the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he sware to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it, and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he had sware unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. There failed not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel, all came to pass. It's really thrilling when you look at this account that this record could be given. Every enemy that the nation of Israel went against as they trusted the Lord fell before Israel. After they learned their lesson at Ai and, and the uh, uh, problem there with Achan and having to deal with that and not really trusting the Lord, after that point, it was complete victory. God had promised that. That was what Moses had said would be the inheritance that they would have and that they could believe God. Joshua and Caleb, 40 years before, had believed that God could do that. But now it had come to re reality as the armies of Israel under the power of God had won a great victory. And I want to encourage you today that all the promises that God has given us, God will fulfill. But we have to believe him. And it's just so encouraging. God gave rest to Israel. After they uh, took the steps to fight, they had to fight. They had to uh, put themselves out. It was not easy. Several years this took them. But as they continued to believe God, one enemy after another enemy fell. And I want to encourage you, the enemies that are in our lives, we certainly feel the, just the enemy of the circumstances right now, but that really will bring to uh, focus in our life other enemies, personal habits that are keeping us from victory, thought patterns that we have that are not right, maybe unsolved bitterness and relationship problems, Maybe those are becoming obvious as we are put together more in our families and see that there are some things that need to be settled. Uh, maybe there are prayer requests that you have for people that you're burdened to reach and unsolved extended family problems that you like to see overcome and, and your relatives come to know the Lord. On and on we could go. God has promised that if we'll pray that he will work and he will give us the grace needed to overcome our personal problems, to give us grace not to be ruled by habits, escapes. We can be filled with the Spirit, and we can have all that we need for consistency in our Christian life. And when it comes to attitudes toward others, God can change our heart. When we are filled with the Spirit, we don't think the same way. Habits can be overcome. Uh, relationships can be restored and God can begin to work mightily in the lives of people that we're praying for and give us wisdom about what to do. And it's wonderful when you can start looking back and say, you know, everything God's promised, he has done it. Our life should just be a life of rejoicing. God's answering prayer. God's making the best of this circumstance. And everything that we have that applies to us in the word of God God will keep his end of the bargain. What a tremendous testimony uh, that was given there. There failed not aught of any good thing 
which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel all came to pass. Well, my friend, don't be discouraged. Your situations, your personal ones, God's promised to give you victory. You can be more than a conqueror. All the things that you've heard, listen to messages, get counsel if you need, but you can believe the promises of God. Every one of those promises will come to pass. And all the burdens you have in your relationships and people that you want to see reached and answers for provision, God will meet your need. So let's look forward to the time of rejoicing. We need to rejoice now. God's already answered prayer. But look forward to the victories that he's going to win. As, as we realize the enemies that are in our life, let's see God overcome them. Let's take the steps of faith so that God can work. And let's have a time of rejoicing in the days ahead that we can say the same thing. There's not failed anything that God has told us. He's done it all.